If you are experiencing winter weather right now, it is the perfect time to get rid of dust mites and allergens in your home. I'm gonna show you how. Hey everybody, I'm Kim with GetGreenBeWell.com. Now, if you are not familiar with dust mites, they are an extremely common allergen inside the home. Those suckers love to live in bedding and upholstery, anything with a soft fabric surface, and they're really, really hard to kill. There's not like a spray that you can put on them that will easily control the population and kill them all immediately. So what you need are extremes in temperature, either extreme heat or you need extreme cold and that's where winter weather comes in and is wonderful for killing dust mites. If you expose dust mites to freezing temperatures for at least 24 to 48 hours, they will die. The good thing is that it is super easy too. You don't even have to put much effort into getting rid of these allergens in your home. So if you have upholstered items like pillows, like this pillow, I would never put in a washing machine because it is going to get ruined. It's never gonna come out looking like this. So it would be really hard to control the dust mites in something like this, um, other than lowering the humidity level in your home, which also will kill them off. Uh, without using an extreme in temperature. Other things that would be issues as far as trying to wash in hot water to get rid of those dust mites would be like drapes, comforters, quilts, again, decorative pillows, maybe some stuffed animals. All of these are things that you don't want to put in hot water in the washing machine, which is one way of getting rid of dust mites, but you are able to put them in freezing temperatures without damaging the item and that works. So I'm gonna put some links in the description below. There is a scientific study showing what will kill the dust mite population. It is saying that a temperature of five degrees or less, and you wanna have that for at least 24 hours. So you want a continued um, low temperature day to do this. So you do want a day where it is gonna be consistently cold all day long and under freezing in order to get this to work. But all you have to do is take a pillow or your items, a quilt, drapes, um, stuffed animals, whatever it is, and simply put them in a trash bag. Now you are putting it in a trash bag in order to keep moisture from accumulating and also getting into the item. Moisture can lead to dust mite problems. So you certainly don't wanna like put your pillow out on a fresh bed of snow and then have it get wet because that's not gonna help the problem. It's only gonna make it worse. And then, you know, once it's everything is in the trash bag, I would just close it up really tight. This is just a drawstring one, but you can like wrap duct tape around it to get a really good seal. If you wanted to use Ziploc bags for something that was small or like the larger Ziploc bags, you could do that and just be sure to seal it real good. Some people actually put duct tape over the top of that seal as well. You wanna leave it out for about 24 to 48 hours. Whether or not you do this in the complete outdoors or you have it on a covered porch is up to you. This trick also works if you use it in a freezer. So if you have a freezer in your home that will um, hold all your pillows or quilts, do this trick for 24 to 48 hours inside. Now, after this time period, the dust mites will have been killed. However, dust mites do leave allergens behind and those allergens can cause you a lot of problem. So to get rid of the allergens, you would want to then take the item out of the plastic and then you could either shake it out, like if it was drapes or a quilt, like shake it out really good. You could use a carpet beater, which, um, or like a broom, you know, actually something that you put the blanket over like a porch and you just kind of beat it to get all of the dust out, hence the name dust mites because they live in the little dust and little bits. So you can do that. You could also take a vacuum attachment and really vacuum really strongly on whatever it is that you are uh, treating. So that is the quick, easy, free, simple way to get rid of one of the most common allergens in your home using the winter weather. If you need any more tips and tricks of how to have a non-toxic home, look at our videos that we have and be sure to check out getgreenbewell.com. Take care, everybody. Be blessed. Bye-bye.